Hi, welcome to this channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add JWT authentication in ASP.NET Swagger UI. So we use Swagger mostly at the time of development because we want to test our API endpoints. And uh, nowadays in ASP.NET Web API templates, it's pre-configured. So, you know, you can just create a Web API and if you run the application, uh, you will see the Swagger UI at the landing page. But if you are using JWT authentication token and some of your endpoints are protected, then you cannot test it using the Swagger UI. So in that case, mostly people use Postman because there they can put the uh, JWT bearer token in the header and test the APIs manually using the Postman. So in this video, I'm going to show you like how you can integrate that JWT authentication directly in the Swagger UI so that you can test your web API endpoints directly in your browser okay so here i have a very small demo application so in this one uh, i have uh, i have added a auth controller and in this controller i have a login method which actually just creates a simple jwt token okay uh, i will just go ahead and show you so it's not a like a real world i am just uh, you know just using hard coded so like this is the username this is the password and when you enter this username and password, it will just create JWT token. This is not a production code. So this is just for the demo purpose, right? So in your production code, you will have in like some other kind of authentication. But yeah, at some point you will be creating a JWT token. So this is the token which I am uh, creating here. And, uh, and after successful login, it will give it back that token. And in the default of uh weather forecast controller so this controller is created when you so this controller comes from the template itself so here i have you know uh, created a one more uh endpoint get with auth and i have been like put this authorize uh attribute here so it will require jwt token to get the data and in the program.cs file here you can see uh i have added this uh, authentication scheme the default scheme is JWT bearer defaults and here is the options for the JWT bearer token okay so right now if I uh, just run this application here you can see like swagger or demo if I run it here you can see we have this auth login and here I have this weather forecast so if I go ahead and uh, try it out you know if I execute it it will give you this data but in case if I go to this next, next second one, which is uh, get weather forecast auth, if I try it out, you know, simply it will give you this 401 because it, it requires JWT token. Then you can go ahead and do a login here. For example, my username and then the password. If I execute it, you can see we have a token, but we don't have any way in this UI that we can pass this token to this endpoint, which requires authentication. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. Uh, let me stop this. So for that, we have to make changes in our add swagger gen this this method. So for that, I will go ahead here and I write options and uh, in the options first we need to do is options dot add security definition okay here it is the first one add security definition and the first is the name of the security definition so i will just go ahead and give it bearer okay and then we need to pass the security scheme so I will create a new uh, open API security scheme. Okay, so this one, uh, open API security scheme. And in this one, I will have this in as parameter location dot header. So actually I will just go ahead and like uh, cut this whole thing here and put it here okay so i will just write using like this 
and uh, I just delete all these things. So <coughs> parameter location header, then we will have you know description of this. So you know in case you don't pass it, so it will just, it will just ask you like please enter token. I will just keep it this thing, and then uh, let's give it name authorization and the type like this one and then bearer format uh, it is actually a uh, string type so i will give it twt and then this scheme which is bearer okay so this is the uh, the security definition which we have added and uh, now we need to add the security requirement okay so i will just go ahead and add options dot add uh, security requirement this thing and uh, it requires uh, open api security requirement which i'm going to create a new so new open api security requirement and in this one we will have new open api open api security scheme so this this one this open api, API security scheme and this one will have reference to new open api reference that will have type of reference type security scheme okay so we need here yeah reference type security scheme and let's give it an id so id will be bearer so this is the id which i have and now come back here and it will ask you that uh, list of values okay so you know like the the previous open api security scheme was the key but there is no any value for that we just need on only that key so i will just pass a so i will just pass an empty string array okay so just write string array just simply add this one okay and just put this semicolon here and that's it now if i save it and now if i run it so this time you can see here we have this authorize button here okay uh, if you click this it will ask for you to enter the the token so you can see like this these are the uh, settings which we done like this enter token all these things is from that setting which we have just added okay so let's go ahead and uh, do login okay uh, to get that token I will execute this and here's the token let me copy it and come back here so right now you can see like this lock is in the open state so here is the open state lock and these two are also open lock icons here so I will go ahead and click on this and uh, paste that value here and click on this authorize close it and now you can see like the, there is the closed lock icon everywhere okay and now in this api endpoint if i try it out execute it you can see like i am getting this this data okay and uh, the previous one which doesn't require the authorization if i try it out it will also give us the data although it will send this authorized authorization token here because when you add this in the swagger ui it makes it makes it available to every endpoint so this is how you can add jwt authentication in the asp.net swagger ui so if you like this video hit that like button if you have any question or suggestion you can put it in the comment section and if you have not subscribed to this channel consider subscribing it to get more helpful videos in the future Thank you.